of the jungle. Thus, the animals that we're gonna see for sure inside the cenote are two kinds of animals. So first we have the bats. We're gonna be seeing uh, bats that eat mosquitoes, flies, and fruits. So sometimes in the water you will get to see like little pieces of fruit floating in the water or also the seeds from the fruits they, that they ate. And the other kind of animal that we're gonna see is uh, the guppy fish. The guppy fish are the fish that they have at the pedicure places that they eat your dead skin cells from your feet. So, All right guys, Cletus here. We are here and today we're gonna take a tour of the cenotes led by Alexa right over here. Yeah. belief they believe that once you die your soul doesn't matter if you're a good person or a bad person everyone's soul goes to the underworld so we're gonna be in this uh, underworld here but for them it is not a scary place like I visualize it visualize it in my head or I think everyone does the same thing uh, but for them this is their first step for reincarnation so this is actually like a place to grow for them this is a good holy and spiritual place for them so we have to be respectful of the area so, uh, and these are the last mosquitoes you're gonna see so inside cenotes we don't really have any more mosquitoes because of the bats so thanks to the bats and that's the biggest they get <laughs> So they don't grow any any bigger because there's no sunlight. Because there's no sunlight, there's literally no plants for them to eat. I don't know, between 8 and 10 feet deep here. You get used to it. <laughs> and these bats are not dangerous. They only eat mosquitoes, flies, and fruits. So thanks to the bats, we don't have mosquitoes inside cenotes, which is good. Is that guano? <laughs> specific kind of tree this is called the Seiba tree c-e-i-b-a the Seiba tree is considered to be the sacred mayan tree or the tree of life why because it's one of the tallest trees that grows around this jungle and also it's they thought it was the only tree that that the roots were strong enough to break down the limestone and then reach down until they find water <music> until they touch water just like this and they don't grow anymore that's why they're not attached to anything underwater and because the roots don't move anymore since they already touched water this is our tool to see the or check for the water level that day and every single day this water level is different Go see some fish.
do have to say, this is one of my uh, favorite parts right here, seeing all these beautiful fish. This is awesome. And so where we're at, we're in actually uh, where a lagoon and the ocean meet. So if you've seen a little bit of a haze under the water, that's where the fresh water and the salt water are meeting, creating that haze. Cool. Thank you for that awesome tour. Yeah, I love this place. Thank you for joining me right here on Get Out, and we'll see you next time for another great adventure. <laughs>